Hey you guys, it's Ivy and today we're going to be doing a hair video. So, this amazing hair that I have in is from Eunice Hair and I've honestly been wanting to work with them for a very long time. So the amazing hair I'm going to be showing you guys today is the Brazilian Natural Wave and I have in two bundles. I'm sorry guys, the lighting is changing. Oh my god, I use natural lighting now for my videos and... Honestly, he does what he wants. Okay, guys, so it looks like the lighting went back normal. Hopefully, it doesn't change again. Like I was saying, I have in the Brazilian Natural Wave, and I made a unit. This is only two bundles, and I really like, like, you get a lot of hair on each bundle. So, if you're going for the look that I have, two bundles is more than enough. I use two bundles and a frontal. So, all of this hair, nice, full, luscious hair. Okay, if you want your hair to be like more full than this, you're definitely going to need um, three bundles. But I would suggest nothing more than three bundles because, I mean, this is a lot of hair. And I don't like my wigs overly full, too thick because that will make them tangle, okay. So this is the Active Glue from Bold Hold. I really want to try this because it is so hot in Chicago, y'all. Like, it's 100 degrees. And I was like, okay, so if I'm going to be wearing my lace, I want to glue it down. I want to see if this glue is going to hold, okay? You guys already know the steps. When gluing down your wig, you want to make sure your hair is braided back and some straight back meeks, okay? Make sure all your baby hair is brushed in, braided up. However you got to do it, make sure your baby hairs are out the way, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and throw on my wig just to see how it fits, how everything looks. Everything looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace around my ears. Now I'm not gonna cut it off around my hairline until after gluing, okay? And then I'm gonna pull my lace back. Now I'm gonna take some alcohol and I'm gonna use this alcohol to clean off my skin and prep it for the hair glue, okay? Please don't skip this step because your glue will peel off, it won't stick and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to put on two layers of glue. You want to start off with small dots and spread it out into a thin layer. Let that completely dry, you guys, like clear. And then you go in with your second layer of glue. Now, I only did two layers. I don't know if you need like three or four for this to hold extreme, but I only use two because I don't leave my wigs on very long anyways. The lace is really, really nice. It comes pre-plucked. I didn't have to do nothing but a little, a little bit of plucking to it. Like, it already came perfect. I did bleach the knots. It lift perfectly, no problems, no shedding issues or nothing like that. After your glue is dry, you want to go ahead and pull your lace front down over your glue and use your finger or a comb or whatever to press it in place. I like to press it soft. I like to just place it at first and then, you know, look at it and then I go in and like firmly start pressing the lace into the glue. This is your melt. This is us melting, okay? So once you've done that, you want to go in with a razor. I'm using a little cheap eyebrow razor. You can get these from the beauty supply store. I'm going to go in and cut the lace with this opposed to using scissors. This will help give you that like jagged cut. So your lace, you know, you don't have that like super line of demarcation. And as you guys can see, the lace was a little, a little light, but it did blend really good. All I'm going to do at the end is put a little bit of like powder or something on it because I don't think the lace was light enough for me to tint it. Sometimes when I go in to tint my lace or spray tint it, it can turn the lace a funky like greenish brown color. And sometimes I just like to go the route of putting some eyeshadow or face powder on it because it's just easier. So now we're gonna get into the good part and that's cutting our baby hairs. So what I did, instead of doing like thin baby hairs, I just made like thick baby hairs on the sides just to like camouflage my lace. And you know, I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys, but 
you see what I'm doing and then I cut it um, in the top and when I cut my baby hairs I like to pull it the opposite way like I'm shaving it off that way when it lays it'll look like way more natural okay you can also use like um, a gel and a brush or some wrapping lotion and a brush and just kind of like brush the hair in place and cut it like that as you go that way you can really get an idea of how your hair is gonna lay your baby hairs are going to lay so I'm gonna go ahead and brush my baby hairs down and once I brush them down I'm gonna um, put a scarf on and let them sit I'm gonna let it sit the scarf sit on for about an hour when I take my scarf off I'm gonna just take my finger and kind of like wiggle my baby hairs loose because I don't want them like glued to my head I do want my baby hairs flexible and to move I just think your lace fronts look so much better when the when the baby hairs aren't gelled to your head um you guys I'm just like blown away I love this hair and this front too it's really really nice um I didn't have any issues with it the hair is very soft it's not tangling I would suggest this hair like if you want something low maintenance something you know just you could put some water in and have a style it's perfect for my signature flip over it's just it's really nice okay so I'm getting ready to go out okay I will be back and I'm gonna let y'all know how this glue did okay you guys so I just got back home let me touch up my face some oily it is so damn hot outside oh my god um the glue held up pretty well um I did notice in this area where I was sweating like it feels like like when I started sweating it kind of got like where I started sweating at, I want to say it got like a little white. Um, but once I cooled down, it went back normal. Now, I don't know if that had anything to do with the mousse I put on my hair or something like that. But I did get a little bit of whiteness, but it did go away. Um, but my wig is, is still intact. Like, everything feels nice and secure. Um, I'm surprised though, y'all, because it is so hot outside, like lace fronts are not for the heat like i don't care what nobody said these things are not for heat the hair did absolutely amazing if you guys are interested in this hair links and all details will be below make sure you guys go check it out if you guys are interested in this hair glue definitely check the description bar link will be below one thing i really like about this glue though is how fast it dries down like it dries down super 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 fast i'm gonna do an update and let you guys know um, how easy or hard it is to take off. And yeah, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm loving my hair. Shout out to Eunice Hair for sponsoring this video. Thanks again for watching one of my videos, you guys. Please don't forget to thumb this up, comment below, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you guys can be notified every time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.